Well, Nadia, I am here in a position uh, the closest we can get to that uh, stricken ship. Everything else around the area has been closed off by authorities. But if I step out of frame uh, and zoom in slightly, you can see a bit better uh, what is going on behind me. There you have uh, the stricken ship Dali, which hit that bridge, which you can see the remains of uh, tangled uh, over the uh, the bow of that ship uh, about 1.30 local time. The Singaporean flagged container ship hitting the front to Scott Key Bridge, uh, a key support beam there, uh, which was uh, had just left port and was en route uh, to Sri Lanka. Now, uh, this is important because we've now had it confirmed to us that the vessel notified the Department of Transportation that they had lost control of the vessel and that a collision with the, the bridge was imminent. Now, we've since heard from authorities uh, that it, there was enough time given to the authorities uh, to uh, put in place a stop order to stop uh, cars from going onto this bridge. And the only people that were still on the bridge at the time of impact is believed to be uh, a construction crew, which was uh, fixing potholes on the road. So uh, the numbers for that, eight people fell into the water. All of them, as I said, the construction workers, six of them currently unaccounted for, two people rescued from the water, one in serious condition in hospital and the other one miraculously seemingly unscathed walked away and did not require medical attention uh, attention now that is important because we've been um, hearing and talking about people potentially trapped in vehicles at the bottom of the water with that search and rescue effort still ongoing uh, we have had it confirmed to us by uh, the uh, governor of the state of Maryland that that is not the case they believe that there are vehicles in the water but that there are no people inside uh, those vehicles now uh, it obviously is quite a long shot uh, for these remaining six people. They've been in the water for hours now, and the tem temperature is hovering around eight degrees Celsius. So uh, very long odds indeed. But so far, um, the authorities here saying that they are continuing a search and rescue uh, mission and say that they're not shifting focus for that mission just yet. Indeed, Fraser, it has been then about nine hours uh, since the bridge collapsed. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning where you are in Baltimore. Do we have any more details at this stage as to what happened on the ship itself? We understand it did issue a mayday call before it hit the bridge. So the ship was leaving the port of Baltimore and it was being piloted uh, by local pilots, which is something that you see quite often in places where uh, it's difficult to get through. People with expert local knowledge are normally used. We're thinking places like the Panama Canal. And that was the case here as well. It was the local pilots, we believe, that sent that May Day issue uh, and then ultimately saved countless lives uh, in doing so before they struck that ship. All 22 of the people on board the ship are still there and accounted for. But the ship has had numerous issues. It was built in 2015 but it has been flagged at least twice for having uh, what they call deficiencies, one of which was in 2016 uh, when my Belgian colleague that I'm here with at the moment uh, told me that the ship crashed into the port of Antwerp uh, and they noticed uh, deficiencies in the propulsion system uh, of the vessel, which is obviously uh, something of note given that the propulsion was what had the Mayday was declared for. Uh, the last inspection of that vessel was in 2023 here in the United States. Uh, no issues were found there but obviously uh, seemingly uh, some gremlins in the past uh, for that ship before the uh, tragedy, tragedy that we've seen unfold here.